Hello everyone, this is Bluff 5 here, and welcome to episode something, I've lost track of my Let's Play series. Now, news. I did mining off camera. Yep, okay. Also, another thing to announce. Forgot what it was. Also, another thing to announce. I got a new mod. It's called Advanced Generators. It's just an add-on for Industrial Craft, but it has something we might want to make. Uh, called the Stone... It's called the Stone Macerator. And yeah, it's a macerator that runs on fuel. So that's kind of cool. Also, Laggy Cause Rain. So, options, what are we on? Don't know why we're on normal. Alright. Okay. So. Yes, rain. Also, I decided against making another iron pickaxe. I decided to make a gem pickaxe instead. So, we'll do that. Because gem pickaxes are cool. And you can't find gems in the overworld in this particular arrangement of mods that I have because of Greg Tech. Greg Tech does have gems. Well, no, it doesn't delete them. It just makes them as rare as emeralds. So, yeah. And now we, in the Twilight Forest, that doesn't happen and we find large veins semi-often. Anyway, it is raining, which is not good. At all. Because I don't like rain. Okay, also, how is there anything in here for us? No. Okay, I think we want to make that stone thing. Also, I'd like to get applied energistics when we update... Well, when I update the pack, here are some mods I'm thinking of adding. I'm going to add applied energistics, and I'm going to add one called Thormic Tinkerer, which is an add-on for Thormcraft that adds a whole bunch of really awesome stuff. But anyway, so the stone macerator, we're going to need redstone for. Also... Go away, any eye. Right. I didn't find a single piece of copper or redstone when I was mining, which is interesting. This uh, rain is making it laggy. At least it's quiet, but it's making it laggy for us. So I'm going to go back to the overworld. And sleep, I think. Oh, actually, I don't have a... Can you sleep in the Twilight Forest, or will your bed explode? I'm not sure. Um, well, I don't have any wool, anywho. Alright, just for now, I'm going to turn the rain off. Because it's laggy, and it's not really necessary, and it makes for bad videos. And you guys came here to watch a video, so... Yeah, I'll turn it off. I thought I said turn off rain. Doesn't that work in the Twilight Forest? It might not, actually. Also, we don't want to go in there yet. No, I don't think turning rain off works in the Twilight Forest. Okay. Let's go back to the overworld. Right, where's my portal? This way. Oh, my. Weird. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got a bit of a cold, so that's why my voice sounds like this. Okay. And it's quite early in the morning. I don't record late at night. I record early in the morning. All right, it says my portal's here. That's not a portal, though. Oh, yeah, it's up in that tree, isn't it? No idea why it's up in that tree. They don't usually actually spawn up in trees. They can do, but they don't usually. I need to engineer an easier way to get up here. Okay. Yeah, this is a bit steep for my liking. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's some natural stairs. So I need to get over to that dirt bridge over there. Also, I've completely forgotten, because I haven't been to the overworld in like a long time. 
So I've completely forgotten what kind of ore processing stuff we've got. Here we go. So it is in the tree. I thought so. Right. And I guess portal away. We. Oh yeah, here's my portal. All right. Still got all that oil sand stuff. We might get to refining that. Well, I'm not sure how we're supposed to. Oh no, I do know how. I just don't know the recipe off the top of my head. Oh, it's not raining. Oh, it's because it's a desert. It's not raining. Well, I'm going to sleep anyway. Because sleep is yummy. Oops. Is it? Yeah, I escaped. I was just going to say... What game mode am I in? Peaceful? Why am I in peaceful? There's all sorts of cool monsters in the Twilight Forest. No idea why. Oh yeah, I was in my test world. And I don't want creepers to blow up my stuff. Okay. Sun is shining. Also, uh, quickly a little bit of bee work that needs to be done. We are actually able to get quite a few cool new mutations. Permutations. Also, these are actually growing more fallow. You know, I'd like to kill you, but, but you're being nice at the moment, so I'm not going to. Okay, uh, what have we got? Uh, we have common. That one is empty. Why are you empty? Did I bring my chest out here? Oh, I forgot. Alright, uh, well, I'd like to get some cultivated. We only just got common, didn't we? Alright. Uh, how do you get cultivated again? Oh, yeah. I will breed it with a marshy. I need a princess. Got queens. Yeah, what happened to my bees that were in there? I have no idea. Well, I, can, I can't run any of my queens, I guess, because... They're not really compatible with the environment. Oh, I could run you. Um, maybe not. I don't know, but how are you going, actually? And how are our trees doing? Doesn't look like there's been any action. Oh, we'll get there. Anyway, so how's this going? You are common. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, but today is not going to be a bee episode. Thank goodness. I think we'll go back to the Twilight Forest and... Why the lag? Why? Why can't... My computer should be able to hand this. Why can't it handle this? Every text... Well, not every text, but every like setting is at its minimum and my computer still can't. Handle it. How is how can that be? Also, in other news, um, either, and in other news, yeah. Well, basically, I'm going to be hopefully at some point soon starting an either. In fact, why did I go back up here? Oh, I've got string, so I can make a bed. I'm going to be starting an either playthrough, the either mod, because the either mod. Two is coming out soon, which is awesome. But I think you can actually hit these with a sickle to mass harvest them. Let's find out. Yeah, not only harvest the top. That's really cool. All right, tip there. Tips and tricks. All right, that was a lot of string. There's none down here. Okay. That's 24 string. That's very... That's enough for two beds. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to the Twilight Forest. And I'm going to make a bed there. Because I can. There's the mining thing. It's for, yeah, I need to make a better way to get up here. And a better way to get down.
But anyway, let's go back to our mining cave. And see what's going on in there. Zycoridite is going on in there. Well, Zycoridite is not particularly useful in this version of Zycraft. But a bed might be nice. How much wood have I got? Right, we have the materials for a bed, hooray. Flax, once it's grown, it takes a while to grow, but once it has, it's really useful. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, we have a bed. Congratulations to me. Okay. Let's sleep. Alright. Spawn point now set to mining cave. That is good news. Oh, so we got all these flax seeds. Now, can I squeeze these into seed oil? Do I have a plugin that does that for us? Uh, apparently not. Uh, wait. I can mix them into paint. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, I can! And something just died outside. Sounds like a mouse or something. Maybe a weird bird. Well, uh, also, I need to expand my junk chest because I got a lot of junk. So, anyway, what are this episode's sort of aims and goals? I haven't the foggiest idea. Right, let's put, I'm going to go on a hunting and gathering mission, so I'm not going to need any of that stuff. I'll bring my iron pickaxe because it's almost dead and my sickle and my sword to defend myself. Okay. I want to go on a hunting and gathering mission in that direction. See what I can find. And hello, doggy. I wish I had a... I actually um, did feed him a bone when I was mining off camera. I killed a skeleton and I gave him a bone. But he didn't get tamed, so yeah. I would like a dog. I think a dog might be cool. Alright. I think I can hear a skeleton. Maybe not. Okay. There isn't much out here, I have to say. I'm looking for something just interesting to... Oh, a chicken. Not very interesting. Just some substance to do something with. Just basically something new. Like a new kind of tree or something. Also with the tree breeding, uh, we can get cherries, which, no, walnuts, which make much more seed oil for us. I know we haven't actually done seed oil yet, but when we do, that's an option. I actually know a couple of tree combinations, but we need better bees to do it properly. And we can do it as we are, but we need to do it properly. And we lag. Sorry about this lag. I have no idea why my computer can't handle this. I think it must be recording. Also, oh, it's one of those trees. They're huge. Not particularly useful, but huge. There's a nearby... Oh, there it is. I might have one of these. They're quite cool. These are cicadas. And what these can do is basically, they don't have a recipe, obviously, because they're living. And they don't have a use, but they 
and they kind of make, no, I don't really want it, because all they really do is make a kind of annoying noise, so, I'll put it back down. Oh, is that a kobold? Oh, they're cool, because they give us gold nuggets. You are a kobold. It's two of them. That gave us some wheat as well. Didn't know they could do it. And yes, we got an achievement. And some experience. I'm actually pretty experienced. Oh, I forgot to bring food. Oopsies. Oh, I think... If, is, if... Whoa, whoa, like... If that's what I think it is, then... That's good news. If it isn't, then that's not good news. thing about Twilight Forest is rarer ores spawn higher up. Oh, this is my favorite ore. Oh, is there only one? I'm so used to playing portal and pressing control to crouch down to see what's in. Yeah, it was, it was only one. Oh, well. Find another kobold, because they're not too hard to kill. They're sort of my kind of enemy. I don't like fighting that much, but these are okay, because they're not too difficult to kill, and they give you a pretty decent resource after you've killed them. I have some aluminium up there. Don't know why so much aluminium. I mean, it's not useful. Uh, you can make it into torches, but that's about it. Also, those mushrooms over there, they glow. They're actually called toadstools. Right, oh, there's another kobold. And I'd also like, I think I saw a skeleton, and I'd like one of those. Anyway, fighting a kobold in the water through experience, I found, is very difficult. But fighting when it's this laggy is very difficult. It's always two of them, it's weird. Maybe they spawn in pairs or something. What's going on? Why the lag? Okay, one of them's dead. Right. Oh, and we have enough wheat to make a loaf of bread, so maybe this hunger isn't going to be such an issue. I'll just quickly make a crafting table from this tree over here. Oh no. See, what's going on? I'm so laggy. Why the lag? Alright, what am I going to do about him? One more shot will kill me. And that won't be good. Okay, maybe two more shots. But, hmm, I'm just going to plan here. Uh, I'm too laggy to fight him. I'm probably too laggy to get away. This lag is just downgrading my gaming experience. It's stupid. He's gone. And I really wanted to kill him, too. Oh, no, but I'm not regenerating my health. I was only doing that to get rid of him. I'm not going to peaceful to regenerate my health. I'm going to eat that bread. Like you're supposed to. I think it must be the recording. I use fraps, and yeah, fraps is laggy. Also, I have no idea what happened in, was it episode four? Where there was no sound for the entire episode. I recorded sound, and it didn't make it into the video for some reason. I have no idea why. I need to find something else I can eat. Some mushrooms. Can I make... I make toadstools into mushroom soup. They're there. Um, usages. Can I make them into soup? I can. Although I don't think those are actually toadstools. I said they were. I think they're the glowing mushrooms. Yeah, the glow shrooms. The mu mush glooms. Okay, 
they're called mushrooms. And can I make them into stew? No, I cannot, but they light up, which is really cool when I want a couple. So these, see, as soon as I start to approach this forest, I get really, really, really laggy. And there's nothing I can do about it. I think I might head back. I don't know what that was. I don't want to venture too deeply. It's so dark in here. They don't actually glow that much. But they might be a nice decoration. Somewhere. That's not coal. That's crude oil up there, I think. Oh yeah, we were talking about refining the oil sands. Okay, to refine it, I think we need this thing called like a, it's called like a diesel something. Here it is. Uh, uh, no, it's not a diesel generator. It's, uh, what's it called? Is it called a still? It might be called a still. Or am I just thinking forestry? I don't know what... Oh, it's the distillation tower. How do we make it? That is cheap. Okay. Uh, steel. And we can smell... We can get steel. We don't have to use a blast furnace to get it. Because of the train craft mod. Although apparently steel dust doesn't have a recipe. Oh, what's going on? Alright. Okay, so yeah, we can make it. Like that. And I think you can also, you can use the oil sands. You can use the, um, the other one, the crude oil, which is found in stone. And then you can also use sugar cane, I think. Of all things, sugar cane. Yeah, I'm going back. With that, wait. M. Now. Would this be cheating? I can teleport. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. I could if I was in creative mode. I could teleport to it, but I'm not in creative mode. What's that swimming thing? Is it going to try and kill me? Oh, no, it's just a dog. No. Okay, so today's episode's aims. Oh! Oh! Oh, I want one of those. Um, scoop. I need a scoop. Alright, I'll mark its location. Uh, new waypoint. It's rare to find one this shallow. Uh, they're from extra bees. They are a beehive, and I really want one because we can eventually... Yeah, I'm done. Uh, we can eventually breed it into a bee that makes lapis lazuli for us. So yeah, definitely mark that down. In fact, that's today's episode aim, to get that hive and get it going in the apiary that's empty. Perfect. Alright, so today turned into be a twilight forest sort of bees episode, I guess. Oh, is that a cave? I might want to... Oh, it is a cave. It is very much a cave. In fact, I'm just going to cure away these leaves. I love being able to do that. Oh, no, that's part of the cave that I was mining in. Um, when I was mining off camera. I think I had a cobalt. Some more aluminium. Not interested. Why would I be? Also, a way Alaram could make coloured light for her lamps is... I know that it's not in Minecraft, 
But these things that the waypoints are made out of in Ray's mini-map, these like beacon thingies, she could just, when you're near a light, she could just make it so one of those surrounds the player, so it tints their vision to be a certain colour. I've always thought that would, like, work. So I'll, I'll show you. Look, there it is. I'll walk into it, and my... I'll get into the right position. Well, you get the picture. Like, if I look through there, everything sort of looks yellow on the other side. So, yeah, I don't see why that wouldn't work. Maybe she just didn't think of it or something. I don't know, but put these seeds away. And the dirt and all that stuff. Alright, uh, scoop. We need a scoop. Luckily, we had all that string. Uh, we're also going to need how many sticks do you need for a scoop? You need six sticks. You need about that much. Uh, crafting table. There it is. Because right. uh, one wooden planks is worth two sticks. Oh, now I need to keep crafting. Alright. Yeah, I really, really want that water hive. Episode's only got a few minutes to go, and I really want it. Alright, we have a scoop. Okay. Let's go scoop it up. Now, I don't think we're actually guaranteed to get anything from it. Well, I think we're guaranteed to get something from it. I just don't think we're guaranteed, like, a princess or a drone or... I don't know. I know it's not a 100% chance of getting, like, a princess and a drone. I think it might be, like, a chance of getting, like, multiple drones or no drones at all. And then maybe a chance of getting a comb and maybe guaranteed princess. I don't know. Let's find out. It's rather far away. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on? I do not want the HP support assistant. Thank you. I do not need to be assisted. That looks like an interesting mining cave. It's not a mining cave, it's just an air pocket. Never mind. Hello. There's lots of dogs everywhere. Maybe that one that I was talking about earlier wasn't the one I fed a bone. I don't know. I don't think it really matters, because not like you need to feed them multiple bones, and I wasted that one. It's just a chance. Oh, I forgot to get food again. Really? Really, me? Okay. Uh, oh, we're almost there. Okay. Your train is trying to frantically generate. I think... Actually having it on short wait. Once the terrain has generated on normal, do you think it might actually decrease the lag? Because it won't have to generate it as often. That might be worth a try. And we can see the stars. Which is always nice. Okay. Hive. Go. Looks like we got... A princess and a drone. Alright, I'm heading back to the overworld to put them in that apiary. Because I really want bees that make lapis. Because lapis is really, really rare. <laughs> it's as rare as diamonds, but it's easier to find because it's found on more levels. And it's also easier to mine. Oh, there's that sapling. Because you can mine it with a stone pick. Alright, I'll replant it. Also, question out there to you, the people hopefully watching this video, if you've made it this far with my monotonous voice and all that stuff. Anyway, um, are emeralds considered as rare as diamonds? Oh, what's that up there? Anyway, are emeralds considered as rare as diamonds? Because I kind of need to know for modding purposes. And also, if Nether Quartz had an EMC value, what would it be? I wonder. I don't think it'd be very high. Maybe, maybe half iron? I don't know. Also, if Nether Stars had an EMC value, what would it be? It'd be higher... Oh, there goes the timer. So, yeah. 
This episode is now 30 minutes long. Great. I'm going to go a little bit over time because I really want to get these bees into that apiary. Also, good news, I know what they need flower-wise and all that, so that won't make things very difficult. Also, I believe they do work in swamp biomes, which is where most of my apiaries are. Anyway, we need to get the portal. Do, 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 right, up these little stairy bits. Alright, see if I can find that same natural staircase that I found last time. I'm actually getting really hungry. Alright, there's the portal. Okay, the portal is directly up there on that tree, so I need to climb up this mountain. Also, I need to grab some carrots. Ow! Need to start paying attention to where I'm going. Otherwise, I will probably... Okay, if I fall off this mountain, I'm probably going to die, so... I'll try not to do that. Oh, and my computer's run... Ow. And my computer's running out of batteries. Oh, dear, it's all going to custard. Okay. And I, I did fall off the mountain, but I didn't die. Okay. And it's starting... Oh, seriously, is it trying to prevent me from getting these bees into that apiary? I've started to lag. My computer is running out of batteries. And I fell off a mountain and only have one and a half hearts left. Really, Minecraft? Are you trying to be difficult? Alright, I can't get up this way, obviously. I'm going to try an alternate approach. But yeah, yeah, anyway, my idea with the, the coloured lighting, look at that tree behind the beacon. It clearly looks purplish. I think LRM could definitely do something with that. Like when a player is in close proximity to one of the, her lights, like surround them in one of those beacons. So everything's just a little bit tinted. Ah, Tally Tubbies. Wait, what? Okay. Huh? Oh, I'm going to start starving soon as well. Minecraft is not being my friend today. Alright. Oh, yeah, we're back on the mountain. Okay. Well, now I am. Okay, I'm turning down the render distance just so I can get up this mountain. It's becoming a very, very difficult task. Now, if the recording comes out, it is because my computer has run out of batteries. Should be very unfair, but okay. If I, I might just cut the recording, get up this mountain and plug in my computer. Yeah, I'll do that. Right, see you guys back in the overworld with a charged up computer. And, yeah, in the actually in the overworld. And yes, I'm starving. Great. Oh my goodness, these carrots taste so good. Wow. Oh, thank you. Thank you, carrots. Uh. Alright, carrots eaten. Uh, carrots need to be replanted. Alright, carrots have been replanted. And I'll carry one with me for good luck. It's my good luck carrot. Okay. Yes, I'm back in the overworld, and I had to turn the render distance down to tiny when not recording just to manage the lag and get up that mountain. What is up with that? I don't know. It's never this... Ooh, that is actually a crossbreed. Wow, 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 That different colored leaf there? We, we have gotten a crossbreed. Well done, little... Bees, wow, uh, that's good. We need to make this thing called a grafter to collect that. Anyway, well, we don't need to, but I'm going to. Anyway, uh, you guys, uh, you need to... Actually, no, you guys, I need to move this because you guys need to be near a lily pad. That's their flower. So, got some water, got some lily pads. In fact, I'm just going to move it a little bit closer. I think I am going to put them on land, but I'm just going to put the lily pads near... Bye. So that should work. Okay. Right. This is your home. 
क्या What a queen. Excellent. Ah, oh, why is the universe so against me today? My nose has just started bleeding. Wow. Universe hates me today. Anyway, I think this might be a good time to wrap up this episode. This is a little bit random. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. And just give it a like if you enjoyed it, because, yeah, it really actually does help. Anyway, see you guys next time in whatever episode it is. I've lost track. Where hopefully I might do a little bit more bees. I might not. I really want to get those lapis lazuli bees. But we'll see. Anyway, see you guys then. Bye.